Hi, welcome. Today I have a short video for you here demonstrating the overall view and interface of our complete vehicle and complete powertrain simulation software called AVL Cruise. Here you can see I have a model open for a range extended hybrid electric vehicle. I'm just going to go over the view here and discuss a little bit about everything you can see here. I'm not going to go into too much detail for the model in this video. On the left hand side here we have a window which has different tabs in it. Desk, user, server and tools. In the desk tab we have the vehicle model and the tree for the subsystem and the different subsystems if you create one. Then we have all the vehicle data for all the components. We also have the project data for the actual project, the different settings, the different tasks that you would like to perform. For example here we have two cycle runs set up and as you can see one is a FTP 75 and the other one is an NEDC cycle. Then we move on to the calculation center down here. So as you can see, we can do either just a single calculation, we can do a matrix calculation, we can do a batch calculation, we can do component variation, parameter variation. So we can do a whole bunch of different calculations. And also we can compile it in this the CMC compiler. Then once we run the simulation, we also have all the results that will be here and you can open them and view them from here. The user tab links to your projects folder where all the models are available and where all the models are saved. The server tab is the similar kind of a tab for user but it's located on a network drive where you can share it with different people from your organization. Then if we look at the tools tab we have all the manuals available here, all the, the user guide, uh, a document for the interfaces. We also have a few extra applications, for example, Cam Studio to record uh, your model, and maybe if you would like to include it in a presentation. And we have other ones available also here. Coming back. Here we have the modules. So as you can see, we have different models and modules available. Vehicles, clutches, gearboxes, different kinds of engines, electrical modules, hybrid electric modules, controls, brakes, auxiliaries, the interfaces, and we also have something called macros. For example, these two blocks here, since we're using them multiple times, I could save the combination of this block and this block in a macro and then just drag and drop it later. We also have a 3D view here where it's very easy to look at. For example, if you had different subsystems, they would show up as different layers here. And you can see which one is active, which one is not active at the moment. Just to give you a little bit idea, here, for example, in our interfaces, you can see all the blocks for different interfaces that we can have, for example, coolie, functional mock-up unit, then we also have DSpace, car sim, car maker, truck maker. So we have all kinds of interfaces inbuilt here. The speci special modules, we have the cockpit, the ground, constants, C function, uh, maps, etc.